Guys, you've been working with Robert Zemeckis for many, many years now and lots of different movie projects. How did the flight experience compare? Oh, well, flight was a terrific experience for us and as you say, we've worked uh, many, many, many years together and uh, flight was a wonderful experience for all of us. It was hard, it was tough, it had its challenges as they all do, but we love the screenplay and uh, that's what drives all of our passions. You know, it really felt like going back to the old days because we'd been involved in big scale digital cinema and all of a sudden we got this screenplay that demanded that you ratchet back everything you've been doing back to those old live action but really you know a really tight schedule tight budget and you know it's a real crafty film which we had in our hip pocket you know it's like riding a bike you remember how to do that even though it was the old days and it felt really good to kind of roll up your sleeves and, and kind of get dirty again and get down in the trenches and shoot. You know? So it was an enjoyable experience and having, as you say, you've been involved in lots of kind of CG heavy mocap things like uh, Christmas Carol, Polar Express, Beowulf as well, going back to that live action filmmaking. Yeah, very immediate uh, gratification. Uh, you know, you walk on a set and you see it all dressed and, <laughs> and, you, and, and, and the actors are in wardrobe and, you know, the camera is there and you're getting the coverage and that's all great. I mean, we were used to living our lives and we had to imagine everything every day. It's like, that guy's running around and where is he? And you're just like, oh, yeah. What was it like? Because obviously, um, you know, Robert Zemeckis has got experience as a pilot himself. What did he add to it, do you feel? An expertise. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, there wasn't gonna. It was gonna all be truth, truthful, because uh, he wasn't gonna do anything that he didn't think could really happen. But, and but, he knew mechanically exactly. You know, if he was doing a, a, a movie about doctors, he would have done the same research and been as facile with the material as it is that he's, uh, uh, you know, a pilot. Now, of course, as you said before, you've worked lots with Robert. I mean, thinking about projects that might be coming up, we've heard that Yellow Submarine isn't happening right now, but could we look forward to maybe that happening at some time in the future? And what about Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the sequel? That sequel is going to get made, trust me. Yeah, I mean, we have a great script. We're just trying to pull it together and see if we can pull it off, but we're ready to go. If somebody says go, we're there. As far as the Yellow Submarine, you know, right now it's uh, right it was now a project that came and went. Right now it's dead. Okay. We wish, but we yeah. still love the songs, the music, and the Beatles. So, right. long live the Beatles. That's right. Who would you envisage uh, kind of having that Bob Hoskins role now that unfortunately he's no longer acting? Well, you know, it is troublesome, but you know, we last had lunch with him. We'll, we'll figure out a way with digital technology. There's always a way to get a guy on his feet. <laughs> and he's ready to do it. Oh, brilliant! That's fantastic news. He's ready to do it.